Hi friends, it's Deanna Willison from Our Blooming Catholic Life, and today is Servant of God, John Bryburn's 101st birthday. Well, it would have been his 101st birthday had he not been murdered by soldiers in the war in Zimbabwe. And he was murdered because they couldn't figure out why a man like him would be helping lepers in Zimbabwe. And they couldn't believe he was sincere. And since he had a tape recorder, they were afraid that it was a radio and somehow he was a spy. And they came to him in the middle of the night saying they wanted him to come out and pray with them. And he just kept saying the whole time they led him away, is this how you want me to pray? And there's been some articles where people muse, was he even talking to the guerrilla soldiers or was he talking in fact to God? Is this how you want me to pray? As he laid down his life, proving that we can love each other, no matter what our nationality, no matter the color of our skin, our history, our heritage, our culture, no matter our illness or disability or even our religion, that we can lay down our life for another, just as Jesus did, servant of God, John Bradburn, pray for us. And so I thought in honor of John Bradburn today, I'd pray a little hymn that I found. Our friend Veronica Brandt had it in her new book of old hymns. Um, and apparently it comes from the New Westminster Hymnal and there's some other details. I'll link that below in the description. The hymn is called Francis Thus Thou Wast lonely plying i'll put the words below because i'm not going to try and sing that um, but i will play it for you on my dulcimer and give you the words so that you can learn it. i've never heard this hymn before and it's very lovely let me get up here and we're also going to read the little prayer that we have with the john Bradburn memorial society so are you ready friends in the, name of the father and the son and the holy spirit amen god our father your servant john randall bradburn showed the power of your love by his life and death May his love of Christ and of Mary, his mother, together with his selfless service to those considered least in the world, be a model for us to follow. We therefore ask for a favor through his intercession so that his generosity and holiness may be recognized by the whole church. And that's what we're asking for, friends. We're asking the favor we're going to ask is that his friends at Matemwa are taking care of. Now, I'm hoping that maybe you can help out. I'll also put a link below where you can donate. If you buy any books from the John Bradburn Memorial Society, any books of his poetry, his biography, he has music CDs, whatever you buy, the money goes to help those still living at Matemwa. They're not just lepers anymore. They're people with a lot of various conditions as well as the workers' families live there, their children, um, and the extended families of some of the people living at Matemwa. They live in huts around the care center, and we're trying to make it as self-sufficient as possible for the dignity and worth of the people. So if you can help us out in continuing John Bradburn's work, that would be amazing. And we ask all this through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Let's sing our hymn, friends. I'm so excited to learn a new Franciscan hymn. Francis, thou was lonely fine. Sorry, I'm sitting really weirdly out here, and it's making me self-conscious, but I'll get over it. Are you ready? I'm so excited. This is the tune. I think there's three hymns. There oh, verses. There may be four, so I'm going to play it going to play it four times if there's not four you can repeat the first one an extra time or maybe write one maybe we'll write one for john bryburn to add him into the mix here
Bye, friends. Happy birthday, John.